Hi there, mycoplasma bivis or M. bivis is a hot topic right now. In fact, yesterday I was in Canterbury uh, for the meetings in both Methven and Ashburton where hundreds of farmers turned up to hear the latest on this disease but also to ask questions that they had. And there are a lot of questions out there that farmers do have and there are some answers we just don't have yet. But what the experts all agree on very much is that the primary way in which this disease can spread is from animal to animal contact. So that's where we need to be focusing much of our efforts right now in the farming community. There are three key things that we're recommending at Dairy NZ to look at doing right now. The first is to check your boundary fences. Make sure that they are secure and sound. And if you know that your animals are grazing next to your neighbours at any point, put a two metre buffer strip in there with a temporary fence for example. Point two, your records. Nate records need to be up to date and questions were asked at yesterday's meetings. Would we be able to get onto this response quicker had all the records have been complete? Farmers were asking that question and we're going to hear a lot more about that in the coming weeks I'm sure. So get those records done. Third point, Get your hands on some resources, and we've got a lot on our website, dairynz.co.nz. We've developed a warrant of fitness for biosecurity, along with some farmers and vets, and that's available to run through on your farm with your vet to make sure that your property is secure in that respect. There's also a simple biosecurity checklist you can download. And we'll be sending the warrant of fitness and the checklist out to you with a pack and the inside dairy coming out in the next couple of weeks. So three things, check your boundary fences, make sure they're secure, put that buffer strip in if you need to. Second point, make sure those NATE records are up to date. And thirdly, get your hands on some information, we've got plenty on our website. And uh, more is coming out to you in Inside Dairy in a couple of weeks. The last point I want to leave you with is the fact that this is a, an animal disease, but it does affect humans. And farmers who are directly affected, this is a tough time for them. We need to get them behind them right now. At the same time, we also need to work collectively together to get on top of this disease. And I know we can. Thanks very much.